Hello boys and goils. Today we're going to be doing deck profile on uh, standard blasters. Um, I hate this deck. <laughs> okay, so I decided to build this uh, for you guys so you can kind of see what, if you wanted to build this, what it should look like. And um, I like premium content too, so I got all the blaster stuff for premium. So I might as well show you what the standard deck looks like too. So let's, let's just go. So the starter is still going to be Glime. You got the shiny Glime. Glime's not going to matter in the next set because we're going to get Barkle, and I'll never use Glime ever again because I love Barkle that much. So it's just when you ride, you draw a card. So for grade three, we're running four copies of Messiah Lord Bastard, <laughs> Messiah Lord Blaster, or MLB. So MLB skill is continuous if you have six. Uh, different blasters on your field he gets the power and crit of those original the original power and crit of all those blasters combined added on to him so it's like some big number with six crits so it's supposed to be like you hit and you win but you'll never hit because your opponent will always have a PG so yeah have fun with that the other skill is when this drive checks a blaster you can call it to the rear guard circle so but it has to be an open rear, so you can't multi-attack with it, which kind of sucks. But um, you're not really plussing either because you're, nothing's going to your hand. You're just kind of filling your field. So, but hey, if you wanted a specific blaster, you wanted um, blaster arrow to search for arc saver to deck, then you can do that. There's there's really not much you can do with this. So, yeah, you have to be a messianic lord for the six blaster setup, and that's just a whole another issue. Next up, we got three copies of Arc Saver Dragon. We're not running four because um, consistency. But that's basically it. I really don't think you need to run four copies. Um, the effect is only on rides, so you're kind of just stuck with it. And is counter blast heavy, so you really don't want to have to ride this multiple times, maybe twice max. So the skill is continuous when it's in your hand. If you have a total of three blasters in your drop or vanguard circle combined, you can it becomes a grade three. So you can write it, you know, right away. And then the other skill is when placed, kind of bus three, soul bus three, uh, you search for up to three blasters, either from your damage zone, soul, deck, or drop. So you pick three from of those four locations and you call them to rear guard circles. You can't call face down blasters, so it's not counter charging. People thought that, that was like a rule change, but it's not really a rule change, it's just the rules. Face down cards don't have names technically, so you can't target them. So he fills the field, which is nice, but other than that, um, you can't use any of the effects because he's not a blaster, so you're just stuck with a bunch of vanillas. But hey, you get three cards for Count Boss 3, Soul Boss 3. It's really not that impressive, so. That, that's all the card does. Next up, two copies of a potential finisher, or probably your only finisher, is going to be Exculpate the Blaster. It's a blaster, which means you can search it out with Arc Saver, and um, yeah, you can write it, use its skill like you've always done. Exculpate's always been great. And you swing and then rewrite Blaster Blade and hopefully win the game with that. So Exculpate's your board wipe and your finisher. So the first skill, if you already don't know what it does, is when it's placed, Canvas 1, you pick all the cards except for one card in your soul and put them in the drop, and then Exculpate can attack all of your opponent's rear guards in one attack. And the other skill is at the end of the battle that this attacked, uh, you pick two cards from your hand, put them into your soul, and then this goes to the drop zone, and you pick a Blaster Blade from your soul, write it. If you can't pick Blaster Blade, you lose the game. It says right there, you lose the game in the card deck. So, finisher, need Blaster Blade, but you should hopefully have it. Speaking of Blaster Blade, we're running four copies of them. So I'm going to be using this art for this deck profile, because why not? I like this one, too. Uh, Blaster Blade skills when it's on Van. If you have four rear it gets a crit. And uh, when he's placed anywhere, Count Bus 1, Soul Bus 1, retire front row, opponent's rear guard. Um, you really aren't going to be using any of the Counter Blast. You're probably never going to get the crit off right away. If you do, you're super going aggro in the early with the... 
you know, searching out with the blaster arrow and filling up your field. I really don't think filling up your field really early is a good idea because your opponent will get rid of those rear guards because they know the deck functions where you have to have rear guards or the deck doesn't do anything. So I feel like this deck has a very weird pace where you can't be aggro because your opponent will just attack your rear guards, especially when we're in a format where people get additional rear guard circles for free. So probably not the best idea to rush with this. So next up for the next new card, we're running four copies of Blaster Arrow. So Blaster Arrow, what it does is, uh, if you have units with Blaster in its name, if you have three of different units uh, on your field, basically you can uh, discard one, search your deck for Arc Saver, put it in your hand. So it technically can help you with Grade Lock if you don't have a Grade Three to ride. And then his, her other skill is if you have six different blasters, uh, none of your units can be chosen by your opponent's card effects. So that's continuous, which means the opponent can't retire your stuff uh, unless they use Kimnara, because Kimnara can basically destroy your entire board. Because technically Kimnara says your opponent chooses three units and then retire the rest. So if you can't choose anything, the whole board goes away. So if you play Kagro and you want to board wipe that blaster player who's playing that blaster deck of locals for whatever reason, you can blow up their board with one card. So have fun with that. Alright, next up is a good blaster, which is Blaster Rapier. So what Blaster Rapier does is if you have six different blasters, she gains 15k, and uh, the skill, other skill is when this attacks a vanguard, if you have Arc Saber or a Blaster Vanguard, you can look at the top card of your deck, put it on the top or bottom. So looking for drive checks, looking for potential targets for Messiah Lord if you want to call them the rear guard circle. So it actually does help the deck. So this is also really good in premium. So this is a really good card. Um, Blaster Rip here is all right. All right, now back to the bad cards. We're running four copies of Blaster Javelin. Blaster Javelin's not that terrible, but it just sucks that all these card effects you can't use unless you have six blasters. So first skill is if you have six different blasters, uh, the first skill is, um, sorry, during the battle it boosts, uh, if you have a Vanguard Blaster Arc Saber, it gets 2k. And the other skill is, when it boosts, if you have six different blasters, you choose your opponent's rear guard uh, in the front row and you bind it. So, I mean, the 2k is cool, but, like, you can't really do anything else. It doesn't really do anything else than power, so the binding only works when you're on the six blaster combo, and that's already difficult enough as it gets, so basically vanilla for the most of the game. Uh, Blaster Dagger. Blaster Dagger is actually a good card. So four copies of Blaster Dagger. So Blaster Dagger's first skill is if you have six, yeah, if you have six units of blasters in different names, like, you know, everything else, everything gets boost. Uh, so your grade twos can boost. And then the other skill is uh, when the attack of your Vanguard with Blaster Arc Saver hits your opponent's Vanguard, you bounce this back to your hand. So this helps you keep you know, your blaster units, helps you with guard fodder for shield. And um, if you do have the six blasters somehow, um, I mean, it happens, but it's not like super easy to get to, you can, you know, everything gets boost. Uh, this is a great card in premium because it has blaster in its name, so it procs off Lingo Brave, so that's cool. Next up for grade ones, um, I decided to run Lucius, so four copies of Knight of Exemplary Sword Lucius. So the reason I didn't pick Marin or Alan is because they both use Counterblast, which means you're, if you use them too early and your opponent denies you Counterblast, you can't use Arc Saver's skill at all. So basically the only card in this deck that Counterblast is Arc Saver, uh, Exculpate, and Blaster Blade. So you want to open the first three damage, you want that to use four Arc Saver just to fill your field. Now, if you get to four damage, you can use the face-up damage to call, and you heal. So, I would rather... They kind of do the same thing to what Lucius does, is when your grade three or greater vanguard is placed, you move this into the soul, you then draw a card, and you call a card from your hand to the rear guard circle. What's nice about this is if you use this skill, you can still call Exculpate from your hand, even if you're on Messiah Lord, because you're calling it through a card effect, and not by normal calling it. And... Um, you know, you're probably going to want to fill your field with the stuff that's in your hand anyways, because it, you know, to get those different blasters. And you're filling soul for Arc Saver, so if you don't want to call one of the targets from the soul, you can use this as a soul blast fodder instead. 
So I feel like Lucius is a little more consistent and kind of does the same thing as Marin and Allen, but you really don't want your opponent to let you damage deny you the counter blast for Arc Saber because that's literally the only momentum you can build up. So that was it for the main deck. We're going to go into triggers right now. So my trigger lineup, I decided for it to be the four Apana and then two Flogals, so it's six crit. And then it's going to be six crit, six draw. So four Flash Shield Soul, and then two copies of Margle. So the reason I decided to do six crit, six draw is because you need to find key pieces for this deck to function. So the crits don't really do anything. I mean, I know crits win games, but this deck really, if you want to do anything with it, you need to draw into the pieces you're looking for. So if you're looking for a specific blaster, you're looking for a ride target, you need the draw triggers. And then the draw triggers are discard fodder for exculpate and um, blaster arrow. So, you know, it all kind of works out. And then damage checking draw triggers is always good. So I feel like you do need to run a lot more draw triggers. I've seen builds where they run eight draws and four crits. I might do that too, who knows. I really don't ever want to use this deck in a tournament and I'm just going to probably film games for you guys uh, on the camera so you can kind of see how this deck performs. But it's really not doing much, really. And then last and not for not least, the four heals. So, yeah. You definitely want to heal in this deck because... You're going to need it. So, the whole setup is obviously supposed to be the six different blasters, but my main issue with this is that Arc Saver helps you fill the field, except he's not a blaster. So that means you don't get any of the effects. If you ride Messiah Lord, but you have no field, you're literally reliant on the drive checks to fill your board. And if you draw the same blaster units, you're not really going to get the effects off. So it's kind of like Arc Saver is the better ride, but you get a bunch of vanillas. And then when you ride Messiah Lord, he has the better Vanguard skill for like winning the game, but it's harder to fill the field. So there's a lot of inconsistency with this deck. Therefore, I think that this is just the worst deck in standard in general. Uh, yeah, that's my take on this build. Uh, if you guys liked my my blaster build, let me know if you have your own way that you want to build it or what you think would be a better way to make this deck more consistent, go ahead. But I really don't think this deck is very viable at all. And I know it's really hard for a deck in Vanguard to not be competitive, but this deck did it. It's, it's not competitive at all. I feel like it's very gimmicky, very fun if you really want to try it, but it's not consistent enough to be good. And uh, I played a bunch of games with a friend of mine who was using blasters while I was using other decks, and I won probably 90% of those games. The deck is very brick. Now, I wouldn't say bricky, it just sucks. <laughs> so, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile, and hopefully, we'll see games of this in the near future. So, I'm Richard, and I'll see you all later.